Hello, my literary luminaries, and welcome back to another Tuesday Talks. This week's topic is, what are some taboo subjects that you like reading about? I love taboo stories. I don't know why. Like, I can't point to something and say, this is why I like them. But, I mean, if you look at a lot of my stories, there is a taboo element running through it somewhere. Um, I mean, case in point, one of my first major book projects, uh, currently known as A Rather Large Puddle. Puddle is a taboo story. It's about a student and a teacher. So that answers one question. That's what I like reading about. <laughs> Um, and it's funny because when I, when I was like much, much younger as a child, um, I spent a lot of time thinking like, oh, there's all these taboo stories, you know, do they, is, is this like a guilty pleasure for someone? Like someone actually wants this to happen in their life. And so they read about it because they can't make it happen in reality. And at least for the time being, you know, my, my personal answer is no, that's not, you know, I don't have a teacher out there that I have some desperate, deep, torrid love for that I can't express. Um, I just, I like the balance of it. I like the concept. I don't know. And, I mean, it's not even just, you know, oh, taboo romance, Romeo, Juliet, oh God. Though I do, I do enjoy this a great deal, but I'm, pretty much any topic that people don't like talking about, which I suppose could be considered taboo, are the ones that I really like reading about. I think that's why I like This Is Where It Ends by Marika Nijkamp so much. Because nobody wants to talk about what causes a school shooting, which is probably why we have so many of them. But that's really beside the point, and I don't want to get into politics here. But like, I loved reading it because it, it takes this very strong approach on something that most people aren't comfortable talking about. It's why I liked 13 Reasons Why, which deals with, you know, suicide and depression, other things people don't like talking about. I read Go Ask Alice a while ago, uh, while I was hanging out in a, um, Barnes & Noble, I think. And I like that a great deal. There's a whole bunch of books in that genre. There's an author that writes a bunch of them, and her name has utterly escaped me. As usual, I've probably just put a subtitle. That'll tell you. Um, but it's, it's... I don't know. I like overall concept. I like reading about taboo stories. I like reading about what no one else will touch. I wish I could give you a good reason why, but I absolutely love it. I think part of it, though, I mean, this has been going on for longer than that, but I think part of it is that there is a whole portion of, um, of like the horror genre that I've been getting into. As you can see, you know, my Marble Hornets poster right there. Um, I like getting into sort of the, the mind twists, the really things that cause a lot of thought, that cause a lot of problems. And taboo subjects have a tendency to do that because we have to think more about them. It's not something we can just walk into. I don't know. It's a lot of fun. I mean, honestly, if you put almost any taboo subject in front of me and was like, here's a book about it, I'd probably read it. So it's much less a concept of, you know, what are the taboo subjects I like reading about and more like what aren't. <laughs> I just, I genuinely, genuinely enjoy it. I'm trying to think outside of student teacher. Like I know there's other, um, you know, romance tropes. <clears throat> the one I've seen a lot lately is like the, the best friend or the brother's best friend or like the, this person is, is a very close part of my family and oh God, I can't possibly be in love with him. And yet obviously you are. I, <laughs> anything, anything like that. The one that you know, you're not supposed to fall for and do. Um, I actually just read a book recently over this past weekend called Royal by Winter Renshaw. Um, act, a really, really nicely done book. I think I gave it four stars actually this sitting right in front of me. Yes, I gave it four stars. Um, really, really nicely done book. Deals with a lot of stuff that people don't really want to hit on. And it's a really interesting uh, tack for a romance. But I would absolutely check it out. Uh, the review for it isn't going up until late this month, I think. So you may have to wait a bit on that. But really, really good book. I would recommend go checking it out. I had a lot of fun with it. Royal's a great character. Um, but yeah. 
taboo subjects are 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 my passion. That's what I mean. Thinking again, um, my most recent project that is actually on the screen right behind my uh, video capture software here is called Off the Record, and it's about a tabloid journalist and her subject about the rock star that she's covering. There's and and in the original world, because a good friend of mine and I sort of created mo you know ninety percent of the world that these people originated from. They've got a whole posse of taboo issues, not just surrounding DJ in Manhattan, but surrounding everybody around it. But that's that's chock a block with with taboo stuff as well. I just really, really enjoy <laughs> these topics. But how about you? What do you guys think? What are some topics, some taboo topics that you like reading about? And of course, if you have a favorite book that deals with a taboo topic, please let me know what it is down in the comments along with any of your personal opinions on the matter. I'd always love to hear from you. As always, you can always follow me on Twitter at Frey. You can talk to me there. I promise I won't bite hard. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It is very much appreciated. And hey, if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? YouTube will very kindly notify you anytime that I post a new video, which should be at least every Tuesday and Thursday. But until next time, I will see you all on Thursday for Top 5's Thursday. Who's unafraid to step in? He's constantly confusing, confounding the British henchmen. Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting Frenchman! I'm taking this horse by the reins, making red ghosts burn with blood stains. And I'm never gonna stop until I make him drop and burn him up and scatter the remains. Um, watch me engage him in gaping and raging him. I'm, um, I go to France for more funds. I come back with more guns and ships, and so the balance shifts. I'm having way too much fun with that song. I'm late to the Hamilton party. Leave me alone. How is it I can rattle off Lafayette's whole thing and then can't get my outro out properly? Blah, 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 blah.